what's going on there guys, Dr. Phil on today is episode 10 of NHL 16, be a gem with the Carolina Hurricanes. So today is our Christmas special, and just like last year, the Christmas special is going to be over an hour long. Uh, last year, to be precise, it was an hour and 24 minutes, and this year it might be longer, it might be shorter, but it's definitely going to be over an hour. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to go through a whole season with the Carolina Hurricanes, from the draft all the way to the next draft. And um, last year what happened is that uh, I was babbling too much and I didn't end up doing the playoff. But uh, this year we will try to do the playoffs as also as everything else. But uh, just before I start, the three things that take the longest in GM mode is the draft, the resigning stage, maybe the free agency depending on how, what you need, and the lines. So the draft, the resigning stage, and the lines take the longest to do in GM mode. So that's what takes up most of the times for, for like doing it. So uh, yeah, so let's start this baby up. Christmas special, holiday special, let's start it up. Okay, so the Carolina Hurricanes made a surprising Stanley Cup run last year, but we lost against Calgary in the finals. Yeah, was it Calgary? Yeah, we lost against, against Calgary in the finals, so the Cup went to the West, uh, but a surprising playoff run to the Stanley Cup Finals. So, we proved to everybody that we are a strong team, and what we're going to do this year is we need to add on to that with a good draft. So, we're going to start the draft up right now, and uh, for this year of the draft, we're going to get a bit of everything. Uh, there's really no trading whatsoever, but... Um, thing a player that I do want to trade right now is Nathan Gerby. Uh, Nathan Gerby, if I'm not mistaken, is good for mid pack, uh, maybe a second or third round at the most. So first things first, we're gonna try. We're gonna trade. Uh, how about New York? New York for Nathan Gerby? Nah, not the first round. Definitely Nathan Gerby's not worth a first round. Uh, Nathan Gerby was always an extra player. He's a, he's depth. That's all he was. He's older now. But thing is, is that he's really, he doesn't, he doesn't have a spot on your team anymore. Like, it sucks to say, but I don't, I really don't need Nathan Gerby anymore. Like I said, he was just there for death, man. But thing is that he's not a player that you really, like, you have, like, just for death. Uh, because of, um, he's small, first of all. And you only use him for his skating category, maybe his puck skills. But um, other than that, he's really not the greatest thing in the world. Okay, so there was an interruption right there. Uh, There's like a little like friggin' seven minute gap in my video right now that just me not talking, me not doing anything. Uh, that's what happens when you're trying to make a holiday special. Interruptions galore because it's such a long episode. But uh, yeah, so where was I? I was at Nathan Gerby. So uh, Nathan Gerby, New York wants him. Like I was saying before, he's just there for depth. So new, uh, Nathan Gerby for a third is definitely gonna go through in my books. So let's just add some more drafts, uh, some more draft picks, uh, just because we want them draft picks. So maybe a third, a fifth, and maybe a seventh. I think New York's gonna accept that. We go through. There we go. Okay, so we get we got some draft picks there. Uh, we get okay, Nathan Gerby. People are gonna be sad. Whatever doesn't matter. That's what hockey is. Okay, it's business. Strictly business, man. Uh, so now we're just gonna sim all the way to our pick. Before that, we're gonna go check out the scouted players. Uh, Cause we didn't check it. If I'm not mistaken, we didn't. We didn't check it. Okay, so top five. We got this Skinner guy, which is a goalie. Uh, Patrick. Yeah, Stuart Skinner. Okay, yeah, I've um, I got I had this guy in uh, my Tampa gem mode in the well in NHL 16. He turns out to be an 89 at the max for an elite goaltender. Um, depending on how well you train him, or depending on how well your team is, uh, he turns out to an 89. That's what he did for me, and he was actually he wasn't that he wasn't the greatest thing in the world, but he was good enough. So other than that, Patrick guy, power forward. Ooh, Nolan Patrick looks like he's a. Uh, Late 70s, uh, mid 70s. But uh, yeah, so we're just gonna go sim up all the way to our pick. Sim to use our pick. Uh, because there's no way in hell we're gonna trade up to get the first overall. We don't even need that first overall. Uh, like I said, for Carolina, what we need is we need 
Um, just to re just to build on that Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, so let's see what's out there. So we're gonna try to get a bit of everything, and if EA Sports can uh, help me with this right now. Oh, this uh, playmaker, the Spurgeon guy, the centerman, which I have a lot of centermen. But uh, maybe I can get my money on Corrado. Uh, to wait for it, I don't want to sign right now or to a defender, hollow defenseman. But uh, maybe the Spurgeon guy I can grab my money on. He's a playmaker. His league interest high, so he's definitely going to be uh, in the top nine, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, let's take my money on Spurgeon. Let's see what he is. Uh, and he is a top nine forward. So, eh, not that bad. We didn't get shafted, but uh, we got a top nine forward, so that's good. Uh, since the next, since the user pick, I'm going to try and go through this as, well, not as quick, but I'm trying to go in depth, but not try to, like, talk for, like, hours and hours. Oh, looks like they got a top six forward. So, it looks like there's still some players out there. Uh, like I said, I want to get a bit of everything. Uh, ooh, Stepniak. Ah, maybe I could go with Flurry to a defender. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna take my money on Stepniak. He's unknown, but still. You know what? Let's go on uh, Stepniak. I think it's Poland the flag, if I'm not mistaken. I could be completely wrong, but maybe it's Poland. Uh, Stepniak, welcome to the Carolina Hurricanes. Ooh, top six defense. Nice. Kind of a steal there. Not high. Nice. Uh, I sent a user pick. Okay, yeah, so we got that New York uh, 18th, uh, third round, 18th overall. Or third round, yeah, third round, 18th overall. Uh, but 70th overall, yeah, 70th overall. But uh, who do we have left? I get this Dubé guy. Or maybe go for a, uh, maybe go for a goalie. Haven't went for a defense yet. But uh, maybe, ooh, I'd like to flag on this. Guy. I don't know what flag it is. It's the other. It's the rest of the world, but eh, it's pretty sick. Pretty sick flag. But I could go with uh, with a two way forward, or go with a, a goaltender, or maybe go with a top six with D. Nah, maybe go with this um, Huxley guy. I'm gonna take my money on on Obrey. You know what? Yeah, we did a four defense. Now we're gonna do a. Uh, a goaltender from Switzerland, if I'm not mistaken. Switzerland, maybe I could be wrong. And okay, he's a French starter, so that's that's a pretty pretty good pickup. Maybe backup goalie of the future. Sent to user pick. We got another pick in the third round. So right now we're just getting whatever we can get. Uh, we got a four. We got a defense, and now we're gonna get a. Uh, Okay, esports. Ooh, I get this Holtz guy. Two way forward. But I think we're with uh, with the uh, Sweden guy, Silverberg, sniper, right winger. So make the pick, and then he is a bottom six forward. So it looks like we're still getting NHL guys, NHL potential guys, which is good to see. It's all fourth round for the Carolina Hurricanes, and we are going to pick up whatever we get. We can get. Right now, we could we could get a steal in the late round, but uh, right, we're just scraping the bottom of the barrel. I uh, go for a two way defender, which will be maybe it's going to be a Canadian guy, but uh, we want high interest. So, two way defender, this Defarius guy, he is a HL top four. So okay, so not a steal, but. Uh, Still good enough, HL guy. We might sign him later on in the future, but uh, not now. So, uh, fifth round. Okay, so fifth round. Uh, Warren, I'm a lot of Canadian guys. i going to, yeah, you know what? We're just going to draft it to a forward. Uh, HL bottom six. I kind of want to go with high just because... If the league interest is high, 
more than likely they're going to be sort of a steal. So, um, to a forward, right winger, or a sniper. Ooh, I can go with, uh, I'm going to go with this true guy. This true. Power forward. Ah, it's kind of a projection undrafted. Ah, no, I go with this handling guy. Nah. Tessie, maybe. Maybe go with this Tessie guy. Julian Tessie. Ah. Definitely a, a late 60s. Tell you that right now. But uh, I could I could go with uh, uh, to a Ford Hamlin. Yeah, we'll try Hamlin. League interest is high. Uh, I can't never mind. Not really what I was hoping for, but uh, hey, we still got a lot of draft picks to go. Still got three, I think. No, we actually got. F well, we got uh, we got four because we got two and seventh because of uh, the Nathan Gerby trade. Yeah, we're just going to go with some high league interest. Because with the high league interest, they're going to want to play and actually try to make the chill. Uh, let's just draft this uh, true guy from, I don't know, Lapia, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, okay, so HL top six. Meh. Not bad. Good for the HL, obviously. Sent the user pick all the way to the sixth round. And let's see what's left. Yeah, I think we're scraping the bottom of the barrel right now. Uh, what's out there? Two-way defender. Ah. Let's go with Schultz. Yeah, there we go. Schultz got a Canadian boy in there. Ah, oh, HL top 2D. So it's not that bad. Now we're going to our two last draft picks. Uh, one from New York and one from us. Yeah, we're, now we're just going to go for projection right now. Actually, doesn't matter because everybody... Yeah, no, we'll just go League Interest. League Interest will go... Ah, uh, uh, left winger. Might as well. Left winger sniper... Ooh, HL bottom six. I don't know why I did that, but sent to user pick. And then let's see what's out there. HL top six. I can go with the McKenzie guy right now. Yeah, you know what? I'll just go with McKenzie. HL top six exact. And is it true? Oh, HL bottom six. But yeah, so that's it. Sim entire draft. And there we go. Carolina, I mean, the Calgary Flames get a HL bottom six forward. But yeah, so this is our draft overall. Uh, we'll go we'll go check out Vancouver because they were first. But the uh, Vancouver Canucks, they drafted the Patrick guy. Which I'm going to go check out and see how... Uh, I'll go sim resigning stage, obviously. But I'll go, see, I'll, I'll go see what's up with the Nicholas Patrick guy. I think it's Nicholas. But uh, we're going to go with player meeting. Maybe it's going to be Victor Rask, if I'm not mistaken, because he played with Nathan Gerby. And am I right? Yes, it is. Yeah, you're not happy. I'm sorry, but uh, sorry affected you, bud. I'm really sorry. Okay, so, uh, yeah, well, yeah, I wanted to go check out. Uh, we're going to go check out, obviously, we're going to go do some contracts for sure. But I wanted to go check out the, the Patrick guy in Vancouver, Nicholas Patrick. So Vancouver Canucks. Wow. Steal. Okay, so Patrick an elite. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, okay, so early 60s at the max. So he's gonna be a slow development, but he's in high elite power forward, so. I give him maybe till he's 23 to be ready for the NHL. But, like I said, depends on how how well you train him. But we're just going to go with the Carolina Hurricanes right now. Okay, so first things first, we 
are going to sign up our top guys, which is going to be Palat and Wisniewski. Uh, obviously, I'm going to keep Palat. Uh, maybe if I go six years. No, if I go five years. Okay, five years we're going to go. We're going to stay. And we're going to 5.7 at five years. Should do it for him. And James Wisniewski, obviously, we're going to keep. Uh, the higher I go, the less he's going to want. So five years, he's going to be 30, 38. I go four years. Four years, he's going to be 37. So that's good for him. And it's good for us also, just for money-wise. So 4.2 at four years. That will do for him. And then, okay, McClellan, I can sign after. Go check out my goalies real quick. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I remember. Okay, so we got the Callum Booth guy. I did He wasn't there in my... Maybe it's a roster update. But he wasn't. He wasn't there when I um when I was playing with them. But I could be completely wrong. Ah, oh, so Callum Booth, eh? Yeah, we drafted him this year. He's already an 83 overall. That means we can trade Eddie Lack in the free agency. Yeah, you know what? We will trade Eddie Lack in free agency strictly just for money. And then we get Alshon Neljovic. So yeah, so we're so Neljovic and. Altschler can play in the AHL. Mercinti can just be whatever. Uh, can just be there. Uh, the goalies that we drafted didn't really, didn't re don't really care. But Edelak, we're gonna trade in the free agency strictly just for money. I guess that's good. Callum Booth is gonna be a future starting goaltender. We might be able to trade Anderson as of 18-19 uh, season. Yeah, when he gets to his 29, yeah, okay, you know what? Callum Booth, if he turns out to be good, we can trade Anderson. And then maybe Neljovic or Altschner can be a future backup goaltender. Nice, okay. So sign Altschner real quick, just because I want him. Three years at 750 will do for him. There we go. And now we're going to put up a day. Yeah, we're going to go up a day. Okay, so offer accepted and offer accepted. Offer accepted. There we go. Everybody's happy. Even I'm happy. Uh, now we're just going to go and... Yeah, now we're just going to break it down into even more. So... So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe? Eleven and twelve. Okay, so everybody from Nestrel. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so the HL, we're going to call Reek. We're definitely going to sign, buddy. Definitely going to sign Call Reek. Call Yuck. Call Roll Yuck. There we go. Definitely going to sign him. Other than that, I think the guy that we took in the first round was what's his name? It was Silverberg. Which was, no, it was Spurgeon. Top 9-4 we're going to sign maybe next year. We'll give him a year back to where he came from. But it looks like everybody we're going to resign. Yeah, everyone we're going to resign. I'm going to resign. Uh, I'll give him two years at uh, 1.5 just to make him happy. And then Chris Neal also we're going to sign just for one more year. Uh, 1.2 should do for him. Because Chris Neal, I'm debating on maybe keeping him or not. But at the end of the day, he's good just to hype up the team, man. He's he's gonna ha he's good in that fourth line also. Like he's only there for his physical category. That's all you're taking Neal is for his physical category and for him hyping up the team. So Chris Neal, you're gonna stay one more year, even though you are 38 years old. But ah uh, yeah, so Ooh, what's his name again? Oh, Brockman. Oh, dude, this guy. Dude, this guy is NHL ready, man. Come on, look at that. Look at that physical category. Look at that skating category. Oh, this guy is definitely playing on that fourth line this year. With Chris Neal McClement. Oh, it's going to be a big line. A big line. But yeah, so everybody here is... We're going we're gonna to pick. So, Nestorell. Give him two years at 900. Uh, Brock McGinn, we're signed for three years for sure, bud. 
There we go. There we go. And then uh, Du Gispi, Du Gisipi, signed for three years at 700. That's good for him. Okay, and that's it for his forward signing. Yeah, that's it for forward signing. And then Laurence, we can just uh, release him. So we're gonna go up to go up a day and see if uh, our boys resign. But yo, that Brock McGinn guy, ho oh, ha ha! Damn, that's gonna be a strong fourth line. I can tell you that right now. Offer accepted, 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 and accepted, accepted, and everybody's happy again. Uh, now we're just gonna go and uh, do that. Uh, do that to defensive core. Defensive core. Okay, so we're one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Ooh, Stepniak was a steal. Damn, Stepniak. It's already a 79 overall. Damn, we're definitely we're definitely signing him. Yeah, we are overloading in defense right now. We're really overloading in defense. But uh, the Troy carry guy, or yeah, is it, uh, is it Troy or is it Travis? Okay, esports are not, uh, okay. Oh yes, okay, never mind. It's Trevor Carrick. Carrick. So he might be ready for the NHL as of next year, but we are going to sign him to a three-year contract at 900. Offer contract. Stepniak, we're definitely going to sign. At 900. And then I think we're good. Yeah, we're going to go up a day and see if people accept. Offer accepted and offer accepted. And I think we're maxed out with our roster spots right now. So, um... Trading Eddie Lack along with some players will help us with the roster situation. Yeah. So Eddie Lack for sure we going to we're gonna trade, but we're gonna have to trade some other players along with it. So I didn't forget anybody. Small men can be released. Yeah, I think yeah we're good for resigning. Uh, go check our golden our goaltending situation. Uh, we signed everybody. But uh, we're, we're really overflowing defense, like I've noticed. So for defense, I think we're going to sign... Let's go check the bottom of the barrel. Okay, now I'm going to go check overall. And no, it's not going to read my controller. Okay, so... Okay, so next year we got uh, we got Hayden Flurry. No, we got uh, Noah Hannafin. That's going gonna, that's gonna to want some money. So... Uh, a lot of people, so maybe a Hohen Robertson, HL top two, top four, top four, HL top two, 70. Yeah, you know what? A Hohen Robertson along with Eddie Lack will be a package deal. Yeah, you know what? That, that sounds pretty good. A whole Robertson and Eddie Lack as a package deal. Yeah, that'll be that's a good deal right now. Yeah, it's going to clear three roster spots and it's going to clear around 2 million for uh, for money. So my assistant manager is high on drugs right now. I don't know what the hell he's thinking. But uh, uh, Eddie Lack will be traded. Eddie Lack. Along with Aho and Robertson. Aho. Aho or Aho? But uh, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, okay, where's Aho? He's down there. Aho and Robertson. And Robertson is. Robertson. So we got a whole and Robertson with along with Eddie Lack. Uh, want we want some? Uh... 
Okay, current pick, yes, yes, no. Yes, yes. Sebastian Aho. Uh, we basically, we want a second line forward that is young and that has good potential. So we're going to go like this right now. And I'm going to go up like this. And other than that, I think we're going to want defense. Any forward that has, that's young and that has good potential. That's young that has good potential. Just any. And then for defense, same thing. Defense, we're going to go any that's young that has good potential. So we're going to go with 26 with uh, good potential. And then second line four, just to be a little bit better. Uh, we're going to go out all, all the way up to 32. So it's more of a like a wide range of trading. Okay, so first things first, before we go look at the free agency, we are going to... No, I think we're going to go look at the free agency. Okay, so who up there? Who is up there? Ooh, Tyler Johnson. We got Patrick Marlowe also. Trevor Daly, Tommy Wingles, Nick Bonino, Brian Bickle, Dennis Sav no, was it Dennis Savard? Got David Savard. And with some other guys. We got David Booth and Yuri Tusley, you know, all these guys right there. But for poten potential wise, JT Brown and Tyler Johnson both have went have been lost to the free agency. That kind of sucks. <laughs> that sucks for Tampa, but it might be an advantage for us. But I think we don't need it. Nah, if we try to like him, be 8 mil. Now, you know what? I could try to reunite Tyler Johnson and um, Palat together, but it comes down to a money situation. Adding 6 million for the next 5 years is going to be kind of hard, so... Uh, okay, who wants Eddie Lack? That's a question. Who wants Eddie Lack along with some of my other players? Goalies. Okay, so Eddie Lack. Okay, so Phoenix wants Eddie Lack. Along with defensive-wise, we're going to go with... Uh, Aho and Robertson. Okay, so Phoenix wants him. They have the money for him. But, uh, I don't know, maybe we could go with Phoenix. What do they have for gold? They got Mike Smith, obviously. Which is a French starter. Ooh. It's going to be a good trade for them. If they get a lot, they're going to have their goaltending. Their goaltending situation is going to be good. So maybe a first, a first round for that. A first and a fourth for that. Is it going to go through? No. Okay. Just the first. Nope. Okay, so they're not gonna. They're not willing to give up their first. So I'm gonna go for two seconds. This year, next year, second, and then we're gonna give. We're gonna go want some uh, fourth and a fifth. Is this gonna go through? There we go. Okay. So like I said, Eddie Lack with a hole in Robertson. They're only. They're being traded. For a salary dump and for roster spots, as you see right now, right now I've got 47 uh, players on my team. I got I can sign three more if I wanted to. But we didn't need Eddie Lack in the first place. I didn't want to get somebody back that's gonna maybe risk my cap situation because in the next upcoming year, it's gonna have a lot of young guys that are gonna want to re that that they're gonna have to be re-signed. I think Lindholm is one of them. There, there's Noah Hannafin, there's Hayden Flurry, all these young guys are going to want big money. So if we get a ish good salary cap right now, we're going to be set for when they're um, for when they're going to want to resign. So uh, so yeah, that's good enough. Uh, edit lines. Yeah, so for the free agency, uh, there's really nobody worth signing. So pretty much like I could sign Johnson but it's all about salary cap issues, man. I really don't want... Like, last year we made a surprising Stanley Cup run. And with we have the same exact team. Just with a new goaltender or a new backup goaltender. 
maybe some new players that are ready to play in the NHL. So signing Tyler Johnson for a five year at $7 million, it's going to be a hell of a cap issue right now. So I'm not going to risk it. Even for potential wise, there's nobody really good out there except JT Brown. Uh, goalie wise, yeah, nobody good. Potential wise, no, nobody that's good. So uh, we're just going to keep it at that. And that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say, man. Uh, we, yeah, that's all I have to say, man. We're it's the same. It's the same team as last year. If it worked last year, it's gonna work this year. I hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. And I hope Callum Booth turns out to be a a good goaltender. So we're gonna we're gonna sim all the way to the preseason and do the lineups. And we're actually doing pretty good for time. Uh, we're at we're at around the. Uh, I think that with that seven minute, I don't know. I think we're at, at around 30 minutes. Yeah, around 30 minutes and we're not even, we're at the lines. So um, I kind of knew what I was doing coming into this video. So there's really like no babbling and babbling like I did last year. Like I knew, like I, I knew some ideas coming into this video. So we might be able to do the lines really quick, uh, then do the season and the playoffs and it might and might be around an hour it'll definitely be around yeah definitely be around an hour might not be as long as last year but it's definitely going to be around an hour okay so the lines okay so preseason is about to start in a couple days we're gonna have to do the lines and do some a lot of roster changes okay so the one thing I do hate about this game, and like I hate it in 15 also, is doing the lines is such a bitch, man. It's the biggest bitch in the world. Like, I know I'm bitching, but like, yo, like, wow. The amount of times that it fucks up doing your lines is just unreal, man. Like, I put a player at like a defense spot. I'm, just, I'm switching a player's like, uh, say I'm switching a defense. It'll magically switch him up to the first line left winger for some reason. I don't know why. And especially doing the lines, it's just, it's laggy and it, it takes time. As opposed to like 14 and lower, or the previous NHL games. It was quick, very, very quick. It, fl it, fl like it, fl it was flowing so well. Okay, so, yeah, so everybody's good for captaincy. Uh, but uh, we're going to go do edit lines. And then we're going to go do some uh, some changes. I guess so. Just like last year, this is going to be our top six. Uh, it's pretty risky playing Lindholm at second line, but what's his... Okay, so Roll is his second line forward, so I'm not going to mess with that, and Palat's a first line guy, so uh, we're going to keep the top six like it was last year. Chris Neal will be playing that fourth line along with Brock McGinn, which went up to an 82, which that's good. Uh, Riley Nash and Malone will be scratched. And I think I'm going to bring up Victor... No, I'm going to bring up uh, Chris Terry and Nick Patan. It worked in that first year. It was the youngster line, like the small line, because they didn't, didn't really have a physical category. So uh, what else do I have to bring up? Okay, so I'm going to have to bring up Noah Hannafin and um, Hayden Flurry, And then definitely going to have to bring up Callum Booth. So options, we're going to go with roster move, and we're going to have to do a, a lot of roster move. So, okay, so this, we're just going to have to do a, one player at a time in the system. So Nick Patan is going to come up with, uh, I don't know, so Stetniak went up to an 81, which is good. So he's going to play in the NHL, but uh, I want my, my boys... Hannafin and Flurry, which are both 84. So confirm. And then Setniak is going to come up with Terry. And then we're going to send down to uh, a defense and a forward. Which is going to be Nestorel, maybe. And you know what? I could play Stepniak one more year. No, you know what? I could play Stepniak one year in the minors. 
So in reality, I'll just bring up Nesterel. And I'll bring down Nesterel and bring up uh, Chris Terry. And then we're going to scratch Clinsome. Because technically we drafted this year. So a year in the minor. Oh, it's a top 6 forward. Top 6 D. But I already got Kerry already playing there. So... Yeah, you know what? We're just going to do that right now. Finish. Confirm. And now let's go do some lines. Uh, edit lines. Okay, so Malone and Nash are going to be both scratched. Malone is scratched. And I'm going to put uh, my boy Nick Patan. Nick Patan is going to go. Yeah, see, see what I was talking about? Ah, the joys of this game. And then uh, who was there? It was uh, Jeff Skinner. For some reason, he was scratched. Jeff Skinner is there. Victor Rask, Nick Patan, and then we're going to go Riley Nash is going to be switched up with uh, Chris Terry. I think Chris Terry is right winger. Okay, so Chris Terry is going to switch up with Nick Patan. And then that pretty much works out for our lines right now. Yeah, yeah, that works out. That works out good. And defense, we're going to have to... Okay, just, Clinsome is going to be scratched. And we're going to dress up Karik. Yeah, Karik's going to go there. Okay, good. And then do that again. Uh, Karik is going to play there. And then we're going to play uh, Noah Hanif. No, not Noah. We're going to play Hay Hayden Flurry. He's going to play with Ryan Murphy. That's what I was talking about. Oh, the joys of this game. Uh, where's Palat? There you go. Palat's there. Defense. Um. Uh, yeah, hand flurry. I just wish esports can make it where when you do the lines, it was like in NHL 14, 13, and before when yeah, GM mode was it was just it was quick, man. It it flew it flows so well. There was no bullshit of like. You put a player on it, it magically you put him. It's like you put him on the first line. Like you see right there, unfilled. Okay, so I'm filling up. I'm gonna fill up that 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 place, and then. Okay, I was gonna say it looks like it's gonna. It was gonna play in that first line for some reason. But yeah, so that's good right now. Looks like Kane, Flurry, Noah Hanfin are progressing at the same rate. I still think I maybe put Noah Hannafin a little bit too overpowered. I could have put him maybe at a medium elite. That would have been better. Maybe a top two. But uh, that's just... That was before. Okay, so Palat, Stahl, and Nick Patan. No way in hell. I'm going to do that. It's going to be my boy Skinner. Uh, Jeff Skinner. There we go. With Falk, it was Newski. Uh, Ryan Murphy with, uh, no, not Kareek. We got Ganya Lindholm and Stahl. Uh, Stahl would be there. Uh, Kareek is going to switch up with uh, Hayden Flurry. That's good. Four man power play. Stahl, Palat, uh, Ganya, and no way in hell. Ganya and uh, Skinner. Just because I like a sniper playing with. Uh, Changing current line, yeah. And then we're going to put Jordan Stahl. Because he's got that better face off. Yeah, he's got the better face off. So, uh, okay, I was going to... Troy Kareek is going to switch up with... Uh, Hayne Flurry. There we go. But for this year, what I'm... Ooh, Brock McGinn. Ooh, no, 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 no. Jay McClement, Jordan Stahl, and Jeff Skinner. Okay, so... Penalty kill, I think I'm going to put Eric Stahl and Jordan Stahl together. Yeah, Eric Stahl and Jordan Stahl together. Yeah, we're kind of going to do like this. And then, um, there's no one Hanfin. I know one Hanfin's got the better. Uh, Ryan Murphy's kind of better. But you're looking at body-wise, you're kind of looking at uh, Noah Hanfin. 
But I want Brock McGinn. I think I want... Uh, I think I'm going to want... Chris Neal, maybe. Palat, maybe. I don't know. Special teams. Okay, so power play. Penalty kill. Uh, Body-wise, he's good. He's a toy forward, but I don't like his defensive awareness. I really don't. But we're going to try it. We're going to try it for now. Yeah. If the coach, if the system manager says so, we're going to try it. Uh, yeah, you know what? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, hey, it doesn't bother me. I mean, it does bother me a lot, but uh, we're going to switch it up during the year. But uh, okay, what was I talking about? Okay, yeah, we're just gonna do, we're gonna switch up with the extra. So, Palat, Nick Patan is gonna switch up with, uh. Uh, what I, what I wanted to do is, I'm gonna switch up with, uh. Jeff Skinner. And Sam Gawney is gonna switch up with, uh, Jordan Stahl. Short characters switch up with Hannah Finn. Yeah, no half in. There we go. Ah, so time wise, we're actually doing not that bad, to be honest. Uh, when I actually, when you know, when you're coming to a video and know what you're doing, it sort of saves a lot of time. Cause I know some videos when I do it, it, I want, I want to do a lot of stuff, but I don't end up doing it because, um, it just, it just ends up having too much time. So, uh, yeah, that's a little rant right there. Like, right now, my file size is around, I think, like, 5 gigabytes right now. Which is funny, because of last year when I did my Christmas special, which was an hour and, like, 24 minutes on my Avermita Game Capture HD2, my file size was around 2 gigabytes. Which is kind of, like, surprising, but... Like, it was 2 gigabytes. For an hour and 24 minutes, which is really good. But thing is that for the game capture, if you don't move a lot, it won't make it a big file size. Like um, for this, uh, for like a GM mode, you don't really move as much as say you play a game, like a, like a, whatever, just like a game in uh, NHL. Because if you play a game in the HL, you move. There's so much movement in the background that it makes it record big. And this is for all you like, for all the people that know what I'm talking about, like that have capture cards and that know what the like what it is. But uh, for the Elgato, it's kind of like it's kind of different because either way, it's still gonna record a big file size. But it doesn't bother me because I still I have a lot of room on my PC. But I'm debating on buying an external hard drive just because. It kind of is it's adding up with all this this gameplay and everything. I sort of need an extra hard drive just for that. But I think we're good for the lines right now. Yeah, we are good. Uh, when all my, we're missing Skinner. But yeah, that's just that little rant of mine right there. Uh, like I was saying, for everybody that knows that captures gameplay or that knows capture cards, um, it's not that it's weird or that it bothers me. It's just that. I find it interesting. Like, I should maybe set up the game capture here, but it's good when I'm recording other stuff on my other Xbox. If you see my gaming setup, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, for goalies, I want to... I forgot to bring up um, Booth. Okay, so we're just going to go back to edit lines. And then for here, we're just going to go best lines. And then we're going to go... Wow, there's a little voice crack. I go to roster move, and then we're just going to go and, um, okay, I'm going to go goalies. Goalies, so Mercint, no, not Anders, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, Mercint, and, uh, in the system, we're going to bring up, uh, Callum Booth. Ooh, Callum Booth's an 85, nice, nice. We got him on a contract for, uh, for five years, no, for three years at, uh, 9.25. Uh, so, edit lines. Uh, goalies, we're going to have to... Neljevic is going to play. 
And uh, we're going to play, uh, not Muse, I'm going to play Alchner as a backup. Okay, so now we're going to go with the, the Chell. Okay, Goldie Wise. Okay, so for this, uh, yeah, can we go with Callum Booth? I think we're going to start Callum Booth for the preseason, see how he plays. Yeah, we're going to start at Callum Booth. Yeah, for this Christmas special, I forgot to say in the beginning that this may be, this is maybe one of my Christmas specials. Um, I might do another one with uh, maybe be a pro or maybe season mode, maybe hot. I don't know. Last year I only did one because I was, I was sort of busy at that time, but uh, now that I have more time off, well, I'm kind of working, I'm working a lot, but uh, now that I have, a, I have a, a bigger vacation as I had in, than in high school, I might do another Christmas special and be a pro. I haven't, I haven't recorded an episode since October. I know it's, it's coming, but, um, when you're not hyped up to play be a pro, there's really no point of recording an episode and forcing yourself just to record an episode. Cause first of all, you will get burned down and you won't have fun. So be a pro. When I'm hyped up, I'll make an episode on it. And it might be a long episode. Because there's some days I might... Some days I, I do feel like playing Be A Pro. And just like, okay, I want to get back to John BB. I want to get back and get to the NHL. But, um... Ah. I'm getting to it. Like, my my favorite game mode of all time in the NHL series is Gem Mode. Like, the time where Gem Mode was at, it, where it was at its prime was in 14. I had the most fun on it. Wow, it was so good, man. I wish it would go back to the star rating system, but I kind of like it. I kind of like the, the top six in that for the ratings, but I wish it would go back to the star rating system. Or just like the layout from the NHL 14 gem mode. It was, it was better. Uh, whatever that's just my that's just my rant so uh, like i said there might be another christmas ep special for maybe be a pro season mode or uh, or hot but i will i will see but just making like these long one hour episodes is sort of it takes a lot out of you still so enough of my babbling let's start up the season and let's see how Callum booth oh ho ho first things first before that, I got to turn off the injuries. I almost forgot that. Do you know how much of a bitch it is to have injuries on during the season? Like, it is crazy bad, man. It's like almost every game there's somebody injured. Like, I know it's like that. It could be like that in the real life, but it's just a bitch, man. Just doing the lines with the injuries on is just... It can get very, very long. But yeah, that's why I turn him off during the season and the playoffs. I turn him on. Yeah, so let's start the season up. Enough of my babbling. And uh, let's see how Callum Booth does in that preseason. If we can go 7-0, oh, that'd be pretty That'd be pretty sick. So we start off pretty good. Okay, scouting assignment. This year, like I, just like last year, whatever comes. Whatever. A bit of everything. Really nothing in specific. Oh, we lost right there. Lost right there. Win and we go four and three in the yeah we go four and three in um in the preseason which isn't bad but then again it is preseason so we're gonna play Callum Booth one month at a time just to see how he is and uh, if he does piss me off I will change him and put we'll put Anderson in net but uh, let's see how he does I'm take some water because my throat is dry. Okay, so first game of the season, we win. And we, okay, so our winning streak ends at two. Should we have lost? We still get a point. Uh, we lost against Montreal. I know it's three straight losses, but he, he brought us all the way to the shootouts. So uh, it's going to be a bit weaker this year. So there's no point of getting that uh, first pick. Come on, Callum Booth. Come on, buddy. And looks like Callum Booth isn't uh, isn't really gonna ish. Try him another month. I believe in this kid, man. This kid can be something big. 
Come on there, Booth. Come on, buddy. Yeah, there we go. I believe in this case. He's going to be the future of Carolina. The future of Carolina. Future goaltender. Come on, buddy. Come on. And okay, so Callum Booth. Oh, you won right there. If he loses against Tampa, we're going to put Anderson in that. Okay, so, okay, so. Looks like he sort of woke up right there. Come on there, buddy. No, okay, that's it, Booth. That's it. Okay, that's it, Booth. Okay, we are we're losing right now, and it's really pissed me off. We're, we are last in our division. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, Anderson, please win us some games. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, Anderson, please win us some games. Uh, you did upgrade a bit, but, uh, a bit, but, uh, we kind of need, a. we kind of need some wins right now. We don't need, we don't need some happiness. We need wins. Well, happiness is also a factor, but, uh, we need some points. And Anderson, please, there we go. Oh, that's not what I'm talking about, but, uh, we need, we need to make the playoffs this year. Okay, right, so we're just gonna go all the way to we're gonna go all the way to the All Star break, and uh, depending on how uh, if Anderson plays bad, then we'll uh, we'll put Booth back in that and give him another chance. But uh, as of right now, we're ish. We're even. We're even. So we're five hundred. Uh, no, not right now. Come on, there, Anderson. Ah, it's like we're winning, then we're losing. But I do want to make the playoffs this year. Come on there, bud. Come on. Okay, adding a scouting assignment. Yeah, we are not. Something is up right now. Holy shit. Oh, Ganderson is pissing me off right now. I'm going to check out some stats real quick and see what the fuck is happening right now. Damn, if we want to win, we got to freaking wake the hell up, man. So we're not scoring. Uh, we're, we're not that bad for letting goals in. Yeah, we're not that bad. Is it our penalty kill or is our power play that's bad? No, power play is good. And penalty kill. Our penalty kill is up there also. I think it's our goalies. It's our goalie situation. Okay, Booth, you gotta, you gotta win us some games and we gotta win the, we gotta freaking win, man. So as of right now, I think we're not going to make the playoffs. Which sucks, but... Uh, I don't know what's up. But we got to win some games. We really do have to win some games. So come on there, Carolina. Please, let's win some games. Ugh. Ugh. No, okay. So we're definitely not making the playoffs this year. Come on, buddy. You get one more chance, Booth. One more chance to prove to me. And eh, you're not proving to me. Okay, so looks like we're not, we're not going to make the playoffs this year. We're not as we were as last year, and we're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to go through a humongous winning streak just to, just to make, just to have a chance, a playoff berth. But uh, just like looks like last year was just some luck. Maybe it was luck. Maybe it wasn't. But uh, I don't know what's up. This is like, it's practically the same line as last year. The same lines as last year. But, uh, come on there, Anderson. Win us some games. We're not scoring. That's the thing. We're not scoring. Yeah, that is. Nope. Nope. Nothing's up. 
shootout win, our first win in a bit, and then we're just gonna go on a humongous losing streak again. Yeah, it looks like we are gonna we're gonna have to go on a humongous winning streak if we're gonna have to up up ish a playoff berth. And if we can do win like like eight straight games, it'd be great. Come on there, boys. Okay, so we did win some games there, finally. But uh, we're going to have to win a lot more games. And it looks like Anderson's going to stay net. There we go. Come on there, boys. Come on. Come on there. Come on there, Carolina. There we go. That's stressful. Seeing a team that went to Stanley Cup Finals last year, now they can barely make the playoffs. It's like... It's ouch. It's a big ouch. Come on there, Carolina. Don't piss me off. Ugh. No. No, no, no. So that's it for this year, guys. I think we're done. We're done this year. We're not. We're definitely not, not going to make the playoffs. I can tell you that right now. There's no way in hell we're going to make it in our position right now. We're going to we're gonna have to win basically every single game. I don't know what's up, man. I really don't know what's up. I don't want to go do with the morales. Hey, Flurry. That's a rough patch, okay? Sorry about that. Our locker room chemistry is not bad. That's a thing. But it's we're not scoring goals and we're not like Oh yeah, good like I'm blaming the goalies a lot, but it's it might not be the goalies, it's just uh, our forwards not they're not not doing shit. Okay, we're gonna have to go through humongous K okay, booth, you're gonna you're gonna get You're getting a shot at three games. Please win us some games. Come on, Booth, man. You got it in you. There we go. Shootout win. Nah, screw that. Yeah, I think we're done. We're done this year. It sucks to see that we are going to not make the playoffs after, after making a surprising... Stanley Cup appearance last year, but uh, it does suck a lot. There we go, two to one win, a loss, maybe another loss. We get still get a point, another loss, and then uh, Booth has pissed me off so. Okay, so uh, what did I want to do? I wanted to uh, edit lines. Oh, uh, there we go. I don't know what's up. I really don't know what's up. <laughs> it could be. It, it could also be the simming. Like I, I it's. <sighs> There's really, there's a, there's a really, there's a, a, a chance that the simming isn't, or like, isn't making us win, uh, because the same team as last year, and then there's just, whatever, could be that. Eh, not that bad, Palat, could be doing much better. We need you to produce. If the checkers make the playoffs, that might be uh that might be good. But as as of right now, there's no way in hell we're gonna make the playoffs. Other than us winning like the whole entire like rest of the season, 
But other than that, I think we're not going to do anything. Go scout some defense. Defense for about a month. There we go. It's like, we'll win two games and then we'll lose like six. <laughs> ah, no, not right now, maybe. Yeah, you see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, we're going, we're trying to go, we're going even. But, uh, if we do get that, uh, if we do get a high draft position, which is, might be good. Yeah, I think that's it for, uh, that's it for the Carolina Hurricanes this season. Had a rough season, but we didn't, uh, don't know what the problem was. Really don't know what the problem was. Go Russia. Forwards for a month. And we lost the last game of the season. So uh, that's it for us. We're pretty much dead last in our division. I think, uh, I think, yeah, we're above New Jersey, but we're obviously we're way out of the playoff position. And uh, didn't know what the problem was. AHL, I think we made the playoffs. Did we make the playoffs? No, the Checkers didn't make the playoffs. I think we're going to make the playoffs with the Charlotte Checkers. But uh, we're going to go check out some stats real quick. Uh, we are gonna go, we're obviously going to go check out some stats. Uh, we're going to go check out what the problem was. And why. <laughs> okay, so goals for per game. Obviously, we weren't scoring, so that 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 goal was on uh, on our forwards. Uh, goals against per game. We weren't up there. That's a thing. We weren't. So it's not the goalie's fault, and that's it's not the defense fault. Where are we? We're sort of like ish mid pack. Like, our defense were doing good. Our goalies, they were doing okay. Well, our defense or goalies were doing okay. But it's sort of like our forwards that didn't really do anything. Uh, power play-wise, we are... We are, again, mid-pack. And then penalty kill-wise, I think we're up there. Penalty kill-wise, kill we're fifth. So, overall... Looking at number wise, being mid pack, mid pack, mid pack, I think, and being top with the with the penalty kill, our problem was our forwards. That was a big problem. They weren't scoring, and also it could be the simulation. There's always, always, always a chance that the simulation could fuck us over hard. But everybody on our team is a big fat minus. But Lindholm, Stahl, Jordan Stahl, Sam Gagne, they try to do the best, but having a uh, having like a like a, a season like this is kind of hard. <laughs> but uh, every team that has a season like this always it's always a rough patch man like even look at Tampa this year they're I think as of right now they're uh, I think they're like 11th in the east or something like that they're down there as opposed to like the team that went to the Stanley Cup finals last year now right now they're not they're not even a playoff position it's kind of sad but it's a rough patch man we might next year might be good we might not be good I don't know but uh we the good thing about this is that we get a high draft. So we might get a top five player. But uh, since the Carolina Hurricanes didn't make the playoffs, uh, we're going to go to our checkers and then uh, we're going to see how they do. They got three more games left and then uh, I think I think they're going to make the playoffs. Yeah, see, see, so we made the playoff with Charlotte checkers. Yeah, so we'll do the playoffs with the Charlotte Checkers, the Carolina Hurricanes. It was a rough season, but uh, we can learn on that. 
And as of next year, I think we're gonna go get some. Uh, we're gonna go get some scoring assets. Because we'll be okay with the salary cap issue. But uh, yeah, so let's just go all the way to June. I won't stop it whatsoever. I'll just go like that. See how they do. Okay. Uh, maybe they're going to do a first round exit. Overtime win. Might do a comeback. And then it's a first round exit. First round exit for the Charlotte Checkers. Not uh, not my thing to say. Um, like I want to say. Like I know I've said it many times. But uh, there's really it is a percentage of um, of simming. That can go in this game. Like there's a really big percentage. Like well not big 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 big, big percentage. But like. There's always a, a percentage that the simming does fuck you over in this game. Because I remember sometimes that, um, well, like my other gem mode. Sometimes what I do is if I do so so bad, I just exit, don't save it, go back to it and just resim it. And I, I win. So there's always there's always a percentage that it does fuck you over. Uh, sometimes you do get lucky, sometimes you don't. Because maybe this season that's what happened with us. The simming sort of ish fucked us over. But that's not one of the excuses. But that might be might be a little. Uh, that might be one of the reasons why. But uh, yeah, so Charles Checkers first round exit. Uh, really nothing surprising. They made the playoffs, which is good. But uh, the Carolina Hurricanes, after surprising Stanley Cup victory last year, or Stanley Cup final, no Stanley Cup run last year, uh, we end up. Not make the playoffs this year. Uh, but every team hits a rough patch. So uh, we're just going to... Yeah, Tampa Bay Lightning win the Stanley Cup. So eh, that's good to see. Tampa Bay has... Uh, even even though they lost Tyler Johnson, they can still win. That just means next year we're going to have to... Uh, to do it To do better. Do much better. Okay, so sim up. Okay, so we're good for this. And then uh, go check out some uh, some awards. I doubt it anybody in Carolina won. Now before that, we're gonna go and we're gonna go check out the uh, playoff tree. So playoff tree. Meh. Meh. That's not that bad. Typical teams. Uh, Spurs, Buffalo made the playoffs. So probably Florida made the playoffs. Edmonton made the playoffs. Wow. Nice. So Tampa against Dallas Stars. So the, the cup comes uh, comes to uh, the Eastern Conference. Nice. Eh, I wish we were we made the playoffs, but there's really. There's really no explanation for it. If like number wise, we were a team that could have made the playoffs, but it's just our forwards weren't scoring. That was the only issue. It's just our forwards weren't scoring. Our scoring. That was a main issue. That's the only reasonable explanation. Or maybe the lines weren't set up right, but they're the same as last year. So I don't know why. So uh, that's the only explanation I could say. But yeah, we're going to go check out the awards and then we're going to end the episode there. Uh, awards. I guess so. There we go. There we go. Uh, I just want to go see if anybody wins for... Uh... And nobody wins for uh, Carolina. What about the HL? Uh, Charlotte Checkers, are we there? Nope. What about player awards? And we're not there. So no awards come to Carolina this year or Charlotte Checkers. But, um, overall, we do have the team to be a deadly... No, we do have the players to be a deadly team. If you look at our, look at our overalls, 
we're sort of a deadly team. It's, it's a lack of chemistry and the lack of our forwards actually try scoring goals. So that's the only logical explanation I could say. So uh, the good thing about this is that we get a good draft pick this year. And um, we're going to try and work on that and uh, try to get some uh, scoring assets next year. But yeah, so that's about it for the Christmas special, the holiday special. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know it was like it's not as long as last year's Christmas special, which was an hour and 24 minutes. This turns out to be an hour and maybe 10 minutes, give or take an hour and 11 minutes. But uh, still good. We made a, a complete season with Carolina Hurricanes. It was rough. But um, every team has hits a rough patch. Like, look at Philadelphia. They're, they're freaking... Uh, they won the President's Trophy. No, they won the... I think they won the President's Trophy. No, I don't think so. Uh, well, well, I could be wrong. But uh, look, they won the Eastern Conference. Look at them in the real NHL. They're not doing the greatest. But, uh, yeah, whatever. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the episode and um, hope you guys have a great holiday, a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday or whatever, whatever, uh, whatever holiday you celebrate. Have a great one and uh, hope you guys are subscribe and we'll see you guys uh, next time. So bye bye.